זה במחץ. אוקיי. 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 We're going to learn a little bit more about it, but it's fun. Um, but first, we're going to start off like this, actually. So we're going to start playing a game. I'm going to give you this piece of paper. Alex, can you put that away, please? Put it away, please. Okay, so we're going to have a passage up on here. Okay? I'm going to ask you to look for the main idea of this passage and then write it down on your piece of paper. You can give your pieces of paper to me and I'm going to decide who wins. That's the best main idea. So go ahead. Take a moment to read. Also read it aloud. It says, And it came to pass that I, Nephi, said unto my father, I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandments unto the children of men, save he shall prepare a way for them, that they may accomplish the thing he commanded them. Okay, so go ahead, write down what you believe to be the main idea of this passage of scripture. Go ahead, reread it to me. And write down what you think is the best main idea. Riches, 
Seek ye for the kingdom of God. Alright? So the main idea that I pull from this is before we try to get rich, look out. Look to God first. And the evidence for that is saying in which order we should do things. As it says in the text. Before you seek the riches, seek for the kingdom of God. This connection to my life is that before I look to look for material things, I need to look for the spiritual things. And that way, I'll be blessed. So that's a connection that I can draw to my life. Very good. Now it's time for some fun. But first, let's get some directions. Not take a selfie, get some directions. Okay, step one, we're going to divide into two teams by counting off. Okay, so we'll start from right here, Tuli. You're one. One. Chelsea? Two. Three. One, two, one. Oh, you're one. One. <laughs> two. One. Okay, good. So, we're going to have the ones. These. We'll have ones right on this side. So, basically, Alex, can you just come sit right where Chelsea's sitting? And Chelsea, if you are two there, therefore, can you sit right where Alex is sitting? Very good. Very good, class. Good. This is the way you're following directions so well. Nice job. Alright, now, step two. Okay, step two. Each round there will be a master. Now, to start, we're going to go by alphabetical order. So whoever is named, first name comes first. Okay, they'll be the master for that round. Okay? And then we'll go counter, or we'll go clockwise. So just as the clock works, that's who goes next. <laughs> Eric, you'll be next. <laughs> Very good. Does that make sense? Yes. Very good. So what's step two? Uh, each round there will be a master, alphabetical, and clockwise. Yes, perfect. Now step three, we're going to read a passage. What's step three? Read the passage. Very good, Jonah. Step four, each member is going to write on the piece of paper with the piece of paper. Oh, very good. Each person is going to write what they believe is the main idea of the passage on a piece of paper. And then they're going to give it to the master of the group for that round. So who's the master of round one in your groups? Alex. Alex and? Chelsea. Chelsea. Woohoo! Alright, perfect. Next, step five, the group master will choose the main idea just like I chose. Which idea that I believe was best? <laughs> okay. But before he makes that decision, there's going to be a little discussion. Discuss which one and why. Okay. Be looking to fill all the three parts: the main idea, the evidence, and connection to life with your particular idea. Okay. Next, I'm going to take from the two groups the two best, the two ideas you came up with, and I'm going to decide who's right. Then we're going to make a connection. Alright. So, everybody got that? Yes. Clear enough. Clear like. Crystal. 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 How clear? Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. Alright, great. Official passage number one. Okay, so go ahead, read this passage. Write down what you believe personally is the main Ooh. message or idea. Whoa, I can hear you over there. Wait, as a group? No, each one writes. Each one writes their own first. And then you'll come together. Oh. I'm not sure that's right. Yeah. Jonah, it's a great effort you put in. Thank you. Okay, 
Go ahead and discuss with your groups. Sounds like you've come to a decision personally. Discuss with your groups what you think is the main idea of this passage. Okay, now the master of the group has to know what she chooses and why. Because they will be explaining the evidence, the main idea of the evidence, and making a connection. you finish your idea, go ahead and discuss with your group which the ideas you came up with and which one has the best. And be thinking of evidence and connections so that the group master can share with the rest of the class and teach us. So, we must use our agency to follow Jesus Christ. God, general progression. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to choose, in the end, oh, this one's tough. I'm going to choose eternal progression. And here's why. If you were to pull, <laughs> if you were going to pull the main idea from here, you could say that eternal progression. Now, the reason why I didn't pick this, this connects directly to your life. So it's a great connection that you came up with here, obviously, right here. It's talking about us, personally. Our, eterni our eternity depends on how closely we align our will with the will of the Father as exemplified by the life of Christ. So it's a great connection. Eric, was that your connection? It's not her writing, is it? Jeez. <laughs> but no, that's perfect. That's a good connection. Now, Jonah, what was your... Evidence. evidence for this. Um, the whole thing was about agency and we should follow Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And those two things, he talked about those because he wants us, the author of Preach My Gospel, authors want us to progress eternally. Alright, perfect. Good. I like that. Next, and last one. And this one's worth two points. Oh, you can bring it back. You're choosing. I'm going to leave my blank. Okay, so go ahead, write your piece of, write your main idea after you read on the piece of paper and you can master the group. story this time. Just main idea. When it comes down to it, what is the idea? And then go ahead and discuss with your partner. And this time, you can come up with, based on the three that you have, go ahead and discuss with your partners and come up with the best possible answer that you can come up with. And if you would like to write a new one, you can. If you don't, then you do it. How's the discussion going on over here? Oh, I don't know what this does. Everlasting. Means you're writing, you'll recognize it. You'll be like, okay. Everlasting. God's love. God's love. God's love. God's love. God's love. God's 
percent of salvation. Why did you, you say salvation? Um, because I feel like he's just talking about it could have been the atonement actually, but the, the oh, main idea behind it. God loved us, so he gave his son so that we would have eternal life. Uh -huh. That whole concept is like our salvation. Yeah. Well, when did you choose? Alright. Okay. So we have two. It says redemption occurs only through Christ or salvation. Ooh, this one's a tough. But Only through Christ. Whole time. Okay, but salvation is very good. No. Two and two. Why? Why did we write that? Yeah, what's your evidence or redemption occurs only through Christ? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So if so the only way for us to receive everlasting life is through Christ. Good. Now, how's that connect to your life? Yeah. Connect to my my decisions on things that will help me reach salvation. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I like that. And just to add more to it, even if we do and when we do, because it's not if, it's just a matter of time before we all do make mistakes. Um, believing in Christ we don't have to perish. Because going back to what John said, you don't have to perish. Good. Okay, now, what are we going to do? I don't have time for this one. So we're going to vote. Okay, so go ahead and take one of the piece of papers that you have on your desk. Now, you're going to write the name of the person that you feel gave the most effort while or in your groups. Okay? Who gave the most effort in discussing and trying to learn, helping others. Okay? And you cannot write yourself. <laughs> and then I'll take the votes. Now, while I'm counting these extensive votes that I have, here's your, uh, just the test. Today. Okay, I'll take this test. Okay, so in this test, the directions are at the top. Put your name on first. Okay, and the directions are here are two passages in which you will have time to read, write, read, whoops, the main idea, and make a connection of that main idea to real life. Okay, out of the three. So you have three minutes to go finish. Starting now.
about 30 seconds. Don't stay in the community all the time. Good job, everyone. 